What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we are back with another Jack specific review on the brand new Knuckles Landbreaker diecast. It's been a minute since we've done these types of reviews. For once, I was able to find this guy pretty early, usually when it comes to the Sonic diecast cars. I'm always having a hard time trying to find these toys. I also wasn't expecting this wave to be out this fast either since we were just talking about that brand new 3 pack that was revealed to us like I think 2 days ago. But it's nice to get my boy Knuckles in this line to add to the collection so that's nice right there but going over the packaging it is like the same formula as the others really you know we get our picture of sonic right there with the logo we do get the die cast right there and then on the back of it it says knuckles land breaker if you can kind of see that right here it says die cast vehicle we also get the jack specific logo right there and then on the back of the packaging we can't see a picture of knuckles right there along with the team sonic racing logo and then we can't see the sonic and tails uh, die cast right there as well it says collect them all die cast vehicle and then you get your warnings and license right there so yeah that is really the packaging right there so without further ado guys let's go ahead and crack knuckles out of this packaging and see what this guy is all about so here's a closer look at knuckles out of the packaging right here i am liking what i'm seeing so far with this guy i also like the head scope on him too if you guys can see you got the the nice smirk going on right there it looks pretty great actually i do like it the steering wheel is yellow i like the detail on his uh land breaker right there nice paint job going on with the car you can kind of move this part right here if you really want to so that's pretty nice and then here's the bottom of it you know you got your license right there um the wheels do move uh, pretty smooth there so you can uh move the wheels right there so i also like how like where the door is you can like see his seat it's like a yellow seat that he's on so that's pretty cool and you can see <laughs> his knuckles on the steering wheel his little knuckles right there i don't know I, I really do like it i haven't paid too much attention to like his car like all the designs so i don't know if it's like as accurate i don't know you guys can let me know but I, I definitely am liking it a lot i think it looks pretty nice you can't steer with the wheels either so if you thought you could do that you, you can't so you know, but, um, man, look at that. Like, even the front of his car looks really good. The only thing I don't like is, uh, he does have, like, a, um, he got, like, a little, like, scratch or something on his forehead. But it's not the biggest deal. You also can't move him either, so, you know, you won't be able to, like, you know, move his head or anything. So, yeah, that's pretty much with the, uh, Knuckles die cast right there. Now, there is something that I did want to try out, and that is the Hot Wheels track. So, let's see if this guy can fit. And no he cannot fit on there i i did kind of like see that coming because of how spread out the um the wheels are i think that was the same thing with tails so yeah he won't really be able to fit on your hot wheels track so just wanted to show you guys that if you guys wanted to know that but yeah you won't uh be able to do that of course we had to compare knuckles with the rest of the cast so here's knuckles with all of the other die casts we've had so far and i really do like it i like this a lot um i think knuckles is my new favorite here it's a really good car it really is and i feel like the paint and like the scope on everything on knuckles is like a lot better too you know but yeah i like this comparison i like uh you know again expanding the roster right like it's i think that's what's cool about these but you know what i think i'm actually going to do this because i'm sure you guys will probably want to know but so we already tried knuckles but we are going to try the others um i did tails before tails can't really fit on there as well his wheels will tend to stick out so tails won't be able to go there for dr eggman um just a little bit he's he's still like to the side of it so you're not gonna get much with dr eggman there but i know for a fact sonic was able to be on here sonic he actually fits on there pretty well so sonic's pretty good so that's good let's try shadow i think shadow and silver should be good because their cars oh you know what shadow cannot go on there i don't think i've ever tested shadow on here before he he actually can't he's almost like Eggman like he's very very close very very close but I think it's like the back part of Shadow's car like I, I don't know but but here's an example of what I'm talking about like this is how Shadow is um that's as much as you're gonna get right there for Shadow and then Silver um yeah Silver is perfect yeah Sil Silver and um Sonic their, their cars are very like thin for it so yeah they're, they're on there pretty good but everyone else though not really you know, there's Knuckles Tails you know you get that and then dr eggman um yeah so looks like only sonic and um silver will be able to um be on the track so just keep that one in mind just sonic and silver 
But anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our review on the Knuckles Landbreaker diecast. Always have fun with these toy cars. I think this Knuckles one looks great. I don't know how long they're going to keep this up, to be honest. I think they're trying to complete the entire roster, I would assume, which I'm totally okay with. I do enjoy these. I just wish they came out a bit faster, kind of like how they do it with their Mario diecast cars as well. But I guess it's because the Sonic ones just aren't as popular, so maybe that's why. Either way, man, I'm always looking forward to more. I do got to try to find the other sonic variant one as well i really wanted to find that and knuckles at the same time so i could do like my two-in-one review right there but now i gotta hunt that one down and give that its own review i did grab knuckles at target by the way they only had him in like three other tales but that's going to do it for this review ladies and gentlemen so thank you all so much for watching let me know you guys thoughts on this in the comments down below and i will definitely catch you guys in the next video take care my friends